All right, hi everybody. We're gonna be looking at our multiplying decimals. Um, I know we didn't have time in class to really go over it much, so I'm just giving some of you the extra opportunity to see this and some extra examples. Um, so you should have written down the steps today in class, but if you've not yet done that, you can do that on your separate piece of paper now. Step one, and you can pause the video if you need to, copy it down. So multiplying decimals, I have uh, listed four steps. Step one is to multiply like normal. Step two is to count all the decimal place values. Step three is to move the decimal that many places to the left. And step four is to check to estimate. So I'm going to do an example here. Um, so the example that I had used today, 32.34 times 1.6. So notice that I don't need to line up my decimals. I'm just going to multiply like normal. So multiplying like normal, I'm going to do four times six. And I'm gonna fast forward through this because I don't think you need to hear me multiply. All right, so I fast, fast forwarded to the point where I added up all my numbers. So I've done my multiplication just like normal. I did it as if it was 3,234 times 16. Now I've got my answer. Obviously my answer is not going to be 51,744. I'm going to need to do the second, the second step where I count all the decimal places. So now I'm going to do this step. One, two, three. There are three total decimal places. So my invisible decimal is always at the end of any number. And I'm going to take that invisible decimal and I'm going to move it one, two, three places to the left and that is where my decimal will go. So my final answer is 51.744, or 51 and 744 thousandths. Now for step four, we're going to check our work. So estimate to check. So estimating 32, I would change that to 30. And estimating um, or rounding 1.6, I would say, okay, how about two? And if I do 30 times 2, it's very quick and easy to do in my head, that would say 60. So reasonably, 51 is nearish to 60. Of course, it's not perfect. It's not right on the dot. This is just a quick way to estimate. If I had forgotten to move my decimal, 51,744 is not close to 60 and would not make sense. So this is just like one of those oh, wait a second, kind of moments where I go, wait, if this is 60, how could this be 51,000? There's one of those things. Um, all right, so now we're going to look at dividing. So dividing decimals, um, the divisor cannot have a decimal. This is very, very important. And again, if you'd like to pause the video and take the notes down, you can. The divisor, guys, is the one that's on the outside, okay? It's on the outside of the box. Outside the bathroom is what I always call that little box, right? Outside the bathroom. What I do inside the, okay, don't. All right, so um, we've got the divisor on the outside. We cannot have the divisor with a decimal. It would get really crazy when we're doing our math if we had to take all these numbers up here in the quotient and multiply them from by a weird little decimal number. That would be insane looking. So that's not what we're going to do. Step one says that we're going to move the decimal and the divisor to make it a whole number. So depending on what that number is, we're moving it that many place values. So if it's 1.6 on the outside, I'm moving it one place. If it's um, 0 0.32, I'm going to move it two places. Whatever I need to do to make the divisor, the one on the outside, a whole number. All right. Then we're going to move the decimal, and I've got a little example going right here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, step two says move the decimal in the dividend the same amount of spaces. You can't just change 0 0.8 to 8 and call it a day. It's not going to be 32.83 divided by 8. I don't get to do that. If I'm going to change the decimal outside, and move it one place over. That essentially means I'm multiplying by 10. What I do outside, I have to do inside to make this equivalent. So now I'm going to move it one place value on the inside of the box or the bathroom as I keep on liking to say. What I was saying today in class is, um, and, you, and maybe I didn't get a chance to say it in your class, but we don't want Okay, parents, close your ears if you're listening to this. I'm very, very gross. Um, we do not want the poo-poo outside the bathroom. 
The poo poo is okay if it's inside the bathroom, but poo poo outside the bathroom is not okay. So I need to get rid of the poo poo. And so if I get rid of the poo poo on the outside, I need to get rid of the poo poo on the inside. And it's not always gonna get rid of it because let's say this number right here, you see that 32.83, I was only moving it one place. So there is still poo poo inside the bathroom, but it's okay to have poo poo. I know you guys are loving me that I'm saying that so much inside the bathroom. That's okay. This is okay. This is not okay. We cannot have poo-poo outside the bathroom. I know you guys love me saying that. All right, so now we're going to do an example. Um, so if you want to put this example on your paper here, we're going to do 51.744 divided by 1.6. Um, we're going to do step one where it says to move the decimal and the divisor to make it a whole number. So like I said, we don't want poop. I know you don't want to hear it anymore. All right. So if I'm moving it one place here, I need to do the same thing inside. That's my step number two. And so now step number three is where we're at now. And it says let's rewrite it because this is crazy looking the way it is. So how about we rewrite it where we've got our whole number on the outside. So now we know what we're dealing with and we've got our decimal moved over one on the inside. We always have to make sure we do both ways. Now we're going to divide like normal. So this is as if we're dividing a decimal by a whole number now. So we're just dividing like normal, and I'm gonna rush through that, but I'll show my work. Okay, so here's my math. So I came up with um, three, two, yeah. three, four um, as my answer, but I'm not finished yet because now I need to do my shoot the decimals straight up. And so 32.34 is my answer. So um, in, in, I know it seems weird because you, you want to put the decimal back, but no, the decimal gets shot straight up and now we're fine, okay? How many times does 1.6 go into 51.744? It goes in 32.34 times. I know it's kind of wonky sounding, but that's exactly how it works. Um, our, and I think that makes sense, right? 1.6 goes into 51, 32-ish times. I think that's, that's reasonable. All right, guys, so um, this is just a review for dividing decimals and multiplying decimals, and I hope that you will be um, ready for the test tomorrow. If you have any questions, feel free to email. All right, guys, and there's tons of other videos. Just go back and look for the divide decimals. It's under the 6.ns.3, and you can look at that through um, my YouTube channel, Patty. Well, it's already you're already on it right now when you're watching this. Um, Patty Eccles, P-A-T-T-I, and then space, and then Eccles, E-C-C-L-E-S. And you can see, if you go to playlist, the um, playlist for 6.ns.3. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.